Ooh, my hair is a mess. Hey everybody, it is Lisa. It is um, Vinane Day, nay, day 18, and um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on Josie and her colic. Um, we have been trying quite a few different things, and she seems to be actually doing a lot better. Um, so I'm just going to kind of run down the things that have worked, things that haven't worked, um, just because I think this information is like imperative, because colic is just so hard and just so tough on mommies especially when you have two little ones um elam is right next to me he is having some avocado and a um whole wheat tortilla with some pinto beans that i made and some water and i'm eating avocado too because i love avocado anyways so the first couple of things that we tried was colic comb and colic comb worked really really well um, almost instantaneously, but it was almost like the gas drops. You had to give them quite, you had to give it quite, quite frequently. And the problem with it is it's got charcoal in it, so it stained a couple of her 90s black. And, um, but other than that, it worked. She didn't have any problem taking it. She never threw it up. Um, it just worked really well for us. The uh, other thing, Penny, the other thing that we tried was the gas drops and the gas drops would give temporary relief but it wouldn't i mean last over like an hour so it seemed like every time i fed her i had to give her the gas drops and i just don't want to pump that much into my kid and that's what another thing that we liked about the colic calm is colic calm was all natural so when the colic calm stopped working um we decided that we would um take her to the chiropractor because we read that 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 was helpful and we went to the chiropractor he adjusted her and um, he suggested that we try probiotics his daughter had um, colic so he told us what store to go to and which ones he gave his daughter and they're kind of expensive we um, gave it to her in the powder form so we just mixed it in with cold breast milk that I had in the um, in the refrigerator and that stuff seemed to do the trick. Um, she has been so good since we started her on the probiotics. We give her a eighth, no, a sixteenth of a teaspoon. So, I mean, a tiny little bit of, of amount um, every day. And she still, you know, she still has her days. But all in all, she's like a completely different baby now. She's cooing. She's smiling. She'll actually stay on her play, play mat and um you know bad at the toys and it's just a completely different baby don't get me wrong we still have bad days um last night was a prime example and um but i mean that has just helped out so much so um it's probiotics it is specifically formulated for babies and infants um and we've actually started giving it to my son as well just because he seems to have a tummy issue. He's had loose stool for probably the last two months. The doctor isn't worried about it because he's not complaining about an upset stomach or anything like that, but it's like his stool is loose and it's watery. And he also has like the consistency of like coffee grinds. So I just said, hey, you know, it's working for her. Might as well help him. He eats a lot of yogurt um, and a lot of fruit. And I tried taking out yogurt, and it didn't change. And then I tried taking out fruit, and it didn't change as well. So, you know, we'll see how it works for him. But other than that, um, the other thing that's helped with Josie and her colic immensely has been... Um, I walk around with her in a football hold, and I'll sit there, and I will pat her belly. And it just helps to loosen up all the gas and the trapped air. And I also try to make it so she doesn't cry as much, because... Um, when she cries, she gulps air, and that just makes things, so it's constantly trying to soothe her right when it starts. My husband tells me I'm spoiling her, but I know what happens when she, you know, starts throwing a fit. Um, other than that, the other things that we have tried is we switched her bottles. Um, we were using the Playtex Vent Air, and she was still gulping air a lot. And, um, so we did some research, and they say to try the Dr. Brown's bottles. So we went and got those. I actually got the wide nipple ones um, because I still do want to feed her and latch her on to me when this thrush clears up. And um, and what else? Oh, so she didn't take them. The, I don't know if the nipple's too soft or what, 
but she has a really hard time with them. Like I said, her her suck is like disorganized. So um, when my nipples in her mouth, it's almost like she's lapping it with the bottom of her tongue. So she constantly goes. <coughs> so it's kind of the same with that bottle, which makes her swallow lots of air. Um, we tried the Tommy Tippies as well. She's not a big fan of those. So I still use them all. I go back and forth, but one hasn't seemed to, you know, really help more than the other. So, um, yeah, that's what's hap That's what's helping. She's currently um, in her swing right back there, um, and she's doing better. So, there's light at the end of the tunnel. For all of you guys that have colicky babies, just know it does get better. It's something that they grow out of, and um, just pray for patience, because I know there's been a couple times where I've been at that breaking point. So, um, take a deep breath. Get support. If, you, if, she, if they're crying and you're getting really frustrated, put them in their crib and go outside and just scream. Because it's better to do that than to take out your frustration on this poor baby who can't help it anyways. Alright, talk to you guys later. Bye.